Today marks a one year anniversary of being full-time RVers. We're going to mark the occasion by taking a ride to Elkhart, Indiana to visit the RV Hall of Fame and Museum. This past year has been a lot of fun and I can hardly um, believe that we're still married. We are in Elkhart, Indiana, the RV capital of the world. More than 80% of the global RV production is based throughout this region. That means if you see an RV rolling down the road anywhere in the world, chances are good that it was built somewhere near here. It's one of the originals. 1913 Earl, travel trailer and Model T Ford. This was um, found in a barn in um, Alabama in 1999. 1989. 1999. Mm -hmm. And um, this guy bought it, and, he, and then a master woodcrafter restored it. It took a year. All the hardware and much of the wood is original and the engine ran fine the day it was purchased even though it had been stored for over 40 years. Now that's a solid engine. It's called a house car. I imagine that this was one of the first motorhomes because see you sit in it to drive it. It's not pulled. It's from 1958. They only built one of them. But get this, there's a bathroom and a kitchen in there. <laughs> well, it was the smallest until September 2004. 1932 Gilkey Camp King Tent Trailer. Almost like it's made from army surplus. To what we see on the road today, they look like miniature models, but they're the actual size. And I think that what's really cool is the simplicity of it all. So obviously when you look at these, um, they were meant to sleep in. 
and maybe have a meal or just prepare the meal but like if you look at this one right it's just bunks and it's really cool because obviously they went to where they were going and enjoyed the outdoors and then went to bed in it and that's the way it should be but now what you see on the road are these 40 foot apartment buildings or, <laughs> or houses on the road it's not the same anymore Pretty amazing woodwork. Another major consideration is that these were designed, they could actually fit into someone's garage. You can't fit one of today's RVs into a conventional garage, but yet, you know, these could definitely be stored inside a personal garage and just taken out when they needed to. Like that looks like it would be a miniature model, but it's not. That's the actual RV. So cool. See how cool it would be when she's sleeping in one. Gotta love windows. <laughs> wow, this is cool. The Stock Street 2 was built in 1988 using a 1976 Cadillac Eldorado chassis and a 1976 Old Tornado 455 cubic inch engine. It was designed and built specifically to fit in a standard residential garage. Proper wine glasses. Now this is an RV. What, hold six bottles of wine? That'll do me. And then the wine glasses protected from breakage. Now we're talking. There is a washer and dryer in here. <laughs> that bathroom has counter space beyond all RVs I've ever seen. So they renovated this thing. They sunk a half a million dollars into it. They found it by a dumpster invaded by critters in 1977. Well, it's a 1977 GMC motorhome. And so they made this, they brought it up to modern amenities. This is all like, this is Corian. <laughs> they were traveling in a 45 foot Provost bus and they wanted to downsize. So they put a half a million dollars into this baby. It's amazing. It's blessed by the Pope. The ultimate Eagles yeah. party bus. It's a bit much. <laughs> the ultimate RV includes a man cave, believe it or not. Size? No, I do not want to downsize. <laughs> Should 
sure is a pretty little RV. That was fun and I really liked it. But now let's go have some cold beers. I'm just going to drive, drive, drive. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up.